Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are refinishing this beautiful dresser that is part of the full set I found on the Facebook Marketplace. We finished the nightstands in the last video, but this dresser we are doing completely different and I'm excited to get started with you guys. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. Anyways, as we know, we're dealing with some thin veneer. We have a little chip in the top and we have a chip in the top drawer here. But other than that, this dresser is in good condition. Our plan is to stain the top and the top drawers, paint the rest weathered white and do some antique glazing. And we're gonna refinish the hardware with some gilding wax. First things first, it's always good to clean your project before you get started. I'm using a damp rag, warm water and some soap. Then we can get started on removing the hardware and don't forget to wipe where you remove the hardware because there can be some grease buildup under there. These top drawers have a nice felt liner, so I'm gonna wrap them up here with some plastic and tape just to keep them in tip top shape. I also tape up the other drawers as well because I don't wanna get paint everywhere because we are gonna be spraying them later. All right, here's the clean strip premium stripper I'm using. I really like this stuff compared to other products I've used. You apply a nice amount on the top here, rub it on with a brush and let it sit for 15 minutes. Here's the time lapse of it in action. I probably could have applied a bit more, but it did bubble up in a lot of places and we begin scraping it off. The left side did not come off as well as the right side, so I obviously put more on the right side as you can tell when I scrape it off here. The best thing about this stripper is it works in 15 minutes, unlike other ones that can take up to 30 minutes or more. So just apply a second coat if everything doesn't come off in round number one and you're good to go. After stripping the top surface veneer, we are moving on to this edge here of MDF which it did take a few coats of stripper to remove the weird white and old finish. I used some steel wool mineral spirits and just did a final cleanup to get rid of all the remaining stripper residue. After waiting for the mineral spirits to completely dry, I grabbed my 180 grit sanding paper and my random orbital sander and just sand the surface smooth. Let's not forget we are doing the top drawers as well. We're going to strip them because we're staining and we can scrape and then we will follow the same steps. I'm using 150 grit on the drawers. I lightly sand the ones being painted and I fully sand the ones being stained. Also for the paint to adhere better, you want to sand your piece down. I'm using the 150 grit as well and I go over the full dresser just so the primer will adhere as best as possible. It's important to clean the piece after sanding. I'm using a bit of mineral spirits and a rag just to clean off any remaining grease and dust. All right, so before getting started on priming, I'm gonna tape up the top surface here so we don't get any primer and paint on the top where we're staining. So now I'm using Rust-Oleum white primer. Just a simple spray can that you can find at any local hardware store. It's important we prime here because we are using a white paint so we don't want any bleeds coming through. I chose to use a spray primer just because the shape of this dresser was quite unique and a roller would not have done the job very well. After letting our primer dry, I'm using a 220 grit sanding sponge just to give it a light sand over so we don't have any bumps in our painted surface later on. So I'm using Bare Ultra Scuff Defense Stain Blocking Paint and Primer in Weathered White. I am spraying this paint on using my Wegener Flexio 590. I watered down my paint a bit and just put it through a strainer so we don't have anything get caught up in the gun when we're spraying. And then I connect all my adapters pieces and we are good to get started on painting. Make sure you do your test spray, get the settings that you want, and then you're good to get started on spraying. I recently purchased the Homerite Super Finish Max Spray Gun as well. 
and I want to test that one out and compare it against the Wagner. So if you'd like to see that video, just let me know in the comments below. After the first coat dries, I use a 220 grit sanding sponge just to get rid of all the bumps and help the paint stick better for the next coat. I sprayed two coats on this one and now I'm peeling off the tape here so we can get started on staining. So I start staining with Weathered Oak Wood Stain by Barathane. I just rub this on with a clean rag. And after a few minutes, I just wipe it off. I do the same thing to the top. To give this some more character, we are glazing this piece. I'm using the Weathered Oak Stain. I just simply rub it on and then rub it off in sections. Make sure you use a clean rag and a soft rag or you might scratch up your surface and you don't want to do that. Basically I just wipe until I get the look I want. There's no right or wrong here, just, just do it based on how you like it. After wiping to the way I want it to look, I grab my lacquer and I just spray a light coat on just so the stain isn't tacky. I decided I was going to use some weathered gray gel stain. The edges here uh, are MDF and the weathered oak uh, regular stain didn't really penetrate them well so you can still see that they were MDF. So I wanted to try gel stain to see if that would cover it up. But honestly, it didn't do what I was hoping, so I actually fixed it up later on again anyways, and you'll see that in a minute. And I do the same process with the gel stain to the top drawers, just so everything matches. I just wipe it on, left it for a couple minutes, and then wiped it right off. While letting the gel stain dry, because that stuff takes a while, I'm using this silver gilding wax for the hardware. And I'm pretty surprised this is the first time I've used this stuff, but it covers old hardware so good and so easily. Just take a brush and rub it on, and that simple. The way the wax works is basically you just apply it and you let it harden, and it's that simple. You can apply multiple coats if you want, or you can do light coats. It's totally up to you. I don't know why I tried this gel stain again to cover the MDF part just to see if it would look better but the color was just not matching anything so I completely covered this up with the same weathered white and I sanded it down a bit first applied multiple coats of white paint and then glazed it just like I did to the rest of the dresser and made everything match up nicely. Then I did a light coat of lacquer just so the stain wasn't tacky. I peeled the tape off, but there was some white paint that uh, I guess got under it. So instead of crying, I decided to use a utility knife, just a small one, and take my time and go around the edge and completely scrape off all the white paint and make everything look super clean. I'm surprised how good that worked. And then all I did was use some more gel stain and go right across that edge and then just feather it out using a clean rag. 
Now to make this piece durable, we are using polycrylic by Minwax and I'm using this in my spray gun. I use 10% water in my formula and then I do a test spray. I always test spray and then throw it on the piece. So here's what the top looks like right after spraying. And then let's move on to spraying the rest of the piece. I ended up spraying this piece with three coats of polycrylic. And then we were all done and I just had to attach the hardware. Just quickly before I show you the before and after, I picked up two cases of laminate flooring just so I can place them down on my garage floor and I don't have to take big pieces inside my house to stage them and take photos of them for when I sell them for top dollar so just a little tip if you guys want to give it a shot but let's move on to my favorite part let's take a look at the before and afters of this dresser that we just refinished and let me know what you guys think of this project in the comments below I'd love to hear what you guys think and if you would have done something differently and finally, here's our after shots. I'm pretty happy how this one turned out. We did have the little issue with the edge, but with some white paint and a bit of patience, we fixed that up in no time. Also, I'm happy that I purchased the laminate flooring. Now I don't have to lug a large furniture inside my house to take nice photos. So I can do that from the comfort of my garage. And taking nice photos really helps sell your furniture faster and for top dollar. If you want to see these staged photos, I'm going to have them posted on my Instagram. But more importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have plenty of furniture flips coming your way. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys next time.